not too bad. It'll uh, move this here. Hard to avoid that when you're uh, going from one side to the other or whatever. You'll either get a ditch or a mound, depending on what way you do it. stand about these 3000 series is where the gear shifts are on them. Uh, it might be alright for smaller guys, but for me it's a pain in the ass. Not so much the outside shifter, but the inside shifter is right against my leg. Right now I've got it in B range and first gear. These 3070s had bad transmissions in them. Uh, the 32 speed, which is what this is, 32 forward and 32 reverse. Yeah, like that's saying. Let's say the 3070 with the uh, 32 speed. I guess it was used other 3000 series too, but they say that it isn't real, uh, real good. Apparently, they have problems with that B range. Of it. And this one had a whole bunch of money put into it before we bought it. It's only 2700 hours on the tractor. I think the uh, we have all the service records for this before we bought it. I think they spent like eleven thousand dollars on the transmission at the uh, Steelership, but uh, we haven't had too many issues with it. I mean, we only put probably three or four hundred hours on it since uh, we bought it. We don't use tractors like other people do uh, because we have such a small operation. so many tractors, they don't end up getting a whole lot of hours put on them. Like their highest hour tractor is probably, I think the 885, it's got about 7,000 on it. I think the 1105 has a bunch too, but that case has been on Air Farm since the day it was new. So. 135's got around 5,500 hours. And those are tractors that we bought new here on the firm and we've had for a long, long time since they were new. So the 135 was built in 1971 and the piece was built in 1976. So 
all that time and great job. field, heading back to the farm. There's a few other fields to do too, but uh, I don't think I'm going to do them today. Do that for somebody else. Get this rig home. I'm going to have a look see where that rock crab is at. Too much work is involved in that. And then I'll probably change my mind and do something else. But, uh, as far as driving distance uh, back from where the main farm is, it's about a kilometer, almost, to uh, the far back field. Don't go across any uh, public roads or nothing, it's all fair property. It's pretty nice. We do get a we got a couple of fields down the road from us that we do have to travel on the main roads to get to, but not too bad. A lot better than other people seem to got it. Seem to have it, I should say. Seems like the more public roads and entrances and stuff like that you have on your property, the more you get uh, people you don't really want around going in there tearing stuff up and whatnot. Hunters in there hunting without permission and stuff. Not that we have any trouble with that really, but a lot of other guys do. It's not the deer, it's the hunters. We don't really have either. There's not many deer left. There's a lot of people that hunt hunt around here and uh, yeah they pretty much destroy the deer population which I guess isn't a bad thing. There's probably 10 hunters for every one deer that there is around. Never really got into it myself. Not much interest. I like the outdoors, I like all the hunting gear and stuff like that. I love going to Cabela's and seeing all the stuff. Just sitting in a deer stand for hours and freezing cold and freezing your balls off and stuff. It's just not, uh, not my cup of tea. against the dog. I got lots of friends that hunt and uh, good for them. I have to see about backing this thing in. I took it out. They had, it, had the plow shoved underneath about three different things. Couldn't lift it all the way up right away and oh uh, grow. We need another building is what we need. Uh, we got two metal buildings that we use for machinery sheds right now. And I think we could really use a third one. We don't like to keep any gear outside. Uh, 3650 in the manure tanker have been sitting outside for the last little while there. Not really sure where we're going to stuff those into. I'm going to rinse out that tanker. You'll see the video prior to this one where it failed. So I don't know what the new plan is. Put a longer hose on that pump would probably do the job, but we don't have a uh, longer hose here. So. Anywho.
pretty cool to grab a hold of that fence with the plow and rip it all down. That'd be awesome. I'd love that. Kind of for eight, you got eight feet of plow sticking up behind you. Maybe more than that, I don't know. 